It's Camdor. Previously on My Buildcraft, we set out to automate bee breeding process and devise the mechanics of doing this process. We set up the pipes. I revealed my age. We set up the drone system and a way of getting the drones back into the breeding system, and we were about to set up the princess replenishing system when we ran out of time. And I realized that I recorded an episode that was way too long. So here is the second part of that episode where we find out what happens. Will we get our bee breeding set up? Will we have a way of putting princesses back into the system? Will I get a walnut tree? We'll hear and see all of this in this episode. So welcome, guys, to episode number 20 of the My Buildcraft series, where in season 2 we are playing Minecraft with the mods Buildcraft, Thermal Expansion, and Forestry installed. So, um, yeah, so like I said, we were doing some automated bee breeding, and oh, you know what, my sound is off, I think. Yeah, there we go. So, in the process, uh, like I mentioned, we were setting up a way of getting bees into and out of the apiaries in a way that's sort of as a collective way of doing so. This is basically the second part of that episode, so I encourage you all to watch the uh, episode 19 before watching this one, otherwise you might be a little confused about what we're doing. But uh, first, what we're going to be doing is going through a way of getting princesses back into the system because for every princess that we lose in the apiary, uh, we actually have to put one back. So um, we're going for, in this case, uh, common, common, purebred bees. And so if we take a common, common, purebred uh, princess out of the mix, we actually need to replenish it. So that's kind of all you need to know, I guess, if you don't want to watch episode 19 and you're just going to be a, a dud about it. But otherwise, uh, yeah, let's get back into it. So we're going to head to a creative world, and I'll sort of show you... Um, an issue that we're going to have, because I want to have a way of, every time a princess goes through a pipe, send out a princess from another chest that's holding extra princesses. Hope that makes sense. Uh, and if not, it will in the, as you kind of view this episode. Anyway, um, yeah, let's go into Creative World and get to it. Well, I'm all ready to set up the princess... Um, uh, detecting and sending system, where basically, from our apiaries, uh, we're going to generate common, common, purebred princesses. They're going to come through the apiarist's pipe, they're going to be shot through that pipe, and the easiest way to detect when one goes through, in order to send out one re um, reserve princess, is to basically set it up like this, where you have an iron and gate, or an iron gate, and basically just say, if there are items traveling through it, send out a red pipe signal, and then when you get that pipe signal, send out an energy pulse to send out one Meadows Princess. Great. The problem with this, well, actually, no, you, let's first just do it. And there's, there's two potential problems with this that I found um, as I'm sort of testing through here. Now, this actually works out fine. See, one princess went through, one princess went through. Uh, this, this, is, this is great. There's no problems here. I see no problem. What about, though, there are two potential systems that are, are, are two potential things here that are a problem. One is that I've noticed that every now and then, and it's important that I put the APRS pipe here because this shoots it out at basically full speed. But what I've noticed is that sometimes it's going either too fast or something for this to update. And so it doesn't actually send out a red signal, and that's a problem. The other possibility is that what if you generate more than one common common princess at the same time? What's going to happen might be that these guys will be essentially on top of one another. And if I do that, You'll notice, I don't think that was long enough. Yep, wasn't long enough to send out two. So even though I threw two through the system, only one went through. So this problem we want to avoid. Is there a way to do it? Well, the first system, we could use a feature of this alt archic gate. This won't actually solve that second problem, but maybe in the first problem we could use it for something similar. And that is to send, uh, instead of sending, um, if you, you know, to have this alt archic gate to send out an energy pulser, which basically removes items as fast as it can, uh, you can set it to do a single energy pulse. So if I have a full stack of roses here, 
and I set this to go on, I just leave this this way, it's actually only then going to send out one rose. That is awesome, right? Seems great. The problem is that I've noticed, and I think this is a bug, is that when I do it again, um, it sends out nothing, because nothing happens. And you really actually ev never can get this to go again, and I don't know why. I'm either using it really wrong, and I don't think I am, but maybe I am, or it's a bug. Uh, maybe it's been fixed, I'm not sure, but um, seems to be a bug. I can't use it, or at least I don't know how to use it at this point, or something, but uh, yeah, doesn't seem to work right. Uh, so I devised this sort of way in which it could be foolproof, and that is, if we indeed have a bunch of princesses coming through, whatever, we basically set it up so that we force them to go out one at a time, and we force the length of the pulse to be just perfectly timed for one princess to be sent out. So in the back, this is going to represent our reserve princess area. Uh, this line is representing the line of common common princesses, even though these are not common common princesses. So what happens is they actually go into a holding chest, temporary holding chest, and then this gate is kind of put into action. And if you just focus on the top two, it's actually, the first two here, it's actually pretty simple. It looks more complicated than it actually is. Essentially, it's set so that if both the pipe is empty and the chest has items in it, send out an energy pulse. What that means is that when a bee comes into this chest, both of these will be true. It'll send an energy pulse then, but then as soon as it does, this pipe won't be empty anymore, and so it'll stop. So what that does is it sh sends out a short pulse instead of a normal long pulse. And that same length of pulse, we just have this set to do a pretty simple send out a B type of thing, um, is going to be perfect for just sending out one of these. So you you'll see how that works out. I'm just going to have these bees transfer over to this chest, all five of them, and you'll see five short pulses that will result in five bees coming out of that chest. There's one. There's two, there's three, there's four, and finally, there's five. All right, cool. So five bees indeed went out of this chest, just as five bees went through this chest. Cool. So this actually works. It's a pretty elegant, fairly simple design to just have that happen. Um, it's kind of like a pulse limiter or an item limiter. Um, pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh, and what that means is that if two come at once, it's going to solve that issue. It's also going to make sure this pulse is just timed perfectly for sending out one B, or at least it should, hopefully. Um, I haven't seen it fail yet, so that's, that's good. What I've noticed is that with stacks of items, it doesn't quite work the same as you see here. It's actually the pulse is enough to send out two items, not one. Uh, it sometimes depends on the item though, but it's a little weird. But apparently with queens, it'll just send out one. So, kind of interesting to learn. Uh, as you see, this same pulse time is enough to send out only one queen or one uh, princess, but yet it sends out two of these. Weird, right? Yep, I thought so too. But anyways, it's kind of an interesting item limiting thing, and we're actually going to use it in another area of our base later on, but not in this episode. Let's go back and set up the princesses now, uh, so we can get this thing going. Okay, let's hop to it. Um, I decided I'll just put the princesses, the reserve princesses, like right here. I, I don't know why, I'm just going to put it right there. So let's do a wooden pipe, um, and then some gold... Gold, 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 gold. And then some iron. All right, cool. Now I won't need uh, an iron pipe. I, I will need an iron pipe, I'm sorry. I won't need to use the we need princesses feature of the apiaries gates or the pipe gates for the apiaries because I will know when it needs princesses by the fact that it will have sent a princess out. So this should send a princess back into circulation, essentially. And I wanted to use only one. So I need this to be an alt archic iron gate. Um, and then I will have to put somewhere here. I think I'm just going to put a chest like... Yeah, right here. Okay. So right in here. And then we're going to use that 
trick that I just sort of showed you guys um, in here. And then we're going to use some cobblestone structural pipe to send the signal over to this gate. Um, that actually could work. Let me see. Does this actually send a signal? Can I do it? I can. I can. I can. I did. Awesome. Okay, so what this means is that if... Wait. If the pipe is empty and there are and the inventory items are in the inventory, send out a red pipe signal. Notice how it's not sending out a red pipe signal because both of these conditions are not true. So again, and I just use the same exact conditions down here, except this time it's energy pulsar. Whoops. Well, energy pulsar. Okay. So that is all we need, and then this, when it sends out a red pipe signal, energy pulsar. All right, cool. And then we just need to give this princesses, and then every time a common common princess comes through as, whoa, crap. Hmm. Nah, I'm not going to get rid of that. As dictated by this, common common princesses. Now notice, I'm actually not saying purebred. And that's uh, pretty important, actually, here. If I said purebred... Sometimes this wouldn't be true. So, interesting. I might actually say purebred here. Uh, we'll see. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say purebred. So purebred bees, common, common. Uh, I guess I don't need to do this as that, but only purebred go down here. Any bees go here, though. Uh, that should mean that common, common go here and other bees go that way, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and purebred is different than just common common because sometimes some of those traits may not be absolutely the same. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna kind of check all these pipes and make sure that's the case. I know I have drones common common here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna say purebred. Well, I'm gonna say purebred bees common common because uh, here it's selected for drones and princesses anyway. All right. Uh, so now that that's done, that's literally all we have to do other than setting up our, our bees up there. All right, so let me grab some bees, and then I'll be back, and we'll start it up. So actually, I just happen to have exactly what I need. Um, I have five princesses that I can use as a Meadows princess. So we're going to do it this way. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Whoops, there's one there. Having the princess in will indicate that it needs drones. There's another one there. There's another one there. There's another one there. And there's another one there. Now, I said purebred down there, and that's going to come into play because normally these would be pretty easily purebred. But what we're going to do is we're going to mate these meadows with um with forest so let me let me test to see if this is actually going to work so if i said it well actually i'm not sure if i can test right now but anyways i mean i, I know this is going to work we already did the testing one two three four five okay these are like generic slow kind of normal drones i don't really care that they're anything other than that okay so here we go we're sending out five drones here we go. And remember we set it so that this kind of meters them out slowly. So it doesn't send them all at once. Uh, so we have one going off, two going off. This third one, when it comes out, should have that third one go off. Wait. Oh, it actually stacked with the other drones. Ha! That's actually why it didn't work. Um, interesting. So if the drones can stack, they, they will try to stack. That's that's what the insertion pipe does. Okay, so this one's going, this one's going, this one's going. These two are not. Uh, oh, actually, these two stacked. Interesting. Okay, so we'll we'll do it manually right now, and um, this is going now. Now the apiaries are automatically doing their thing, and we're gonna generate some common stuff. Uh, what we're also going to need, though, is some reserve princesses. I actually don't have that many in terms of meadows and forest, um, because that's what we need. We want to make sure they're either meadows or forest. I'm just going to put all of these, these four, in there. Otherwise, I don't have meadows and forest. I have meadows and forest drones, but that's it. Um, okay, reserve princesses right here. 
One, two, three, four. Okay, so they're ready to go whenever we need them, and that will hopefully be eventually. So nothing's going to happen much until they actually start to breed and generate some common stuff. Uh, I'll try to be here for the generation once it stops, or once the, those does die out and we get one generation, and then you'll get to see what happens, and it'll be fun. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, guys. Very close now. It's very close to quitting time, at least for a few bees. So we'll kind of see what we get. I don't know if we're going to get common common at first. Uh, we could. I mean, there's a decent chance, but uh, it's like a 3% chance it ends up being. You know, it's around 5% um, when you do purebred meadows plus a purebred forest. There's ways of calculating that, and there's also ways of calculating how often you get... Oh, oh. Hey, cool. We just got some honeycomb. And there's, there's, oh my goodness, we got a common common drone. Holy crap, we did. Wow, is it truly a purebred though? I actually changed these, uh, these pipes to indicate just princess and drone because I really just kind of actually wanted to see one. I could refine it to be purebred, but let's see. It looks purebred. Wow. Wow, that is awesome. Cool. Really awesome. Wow, it actually worked. Son of a gun. Huh. Well, that's great. Now it's sending out some drones uh, to that middle one. If we had them. Do we have any? Do we need drones? Do we need drones? Are they stacking? They're stacking, aren't they? We need drones. Uh, that's, that's not a problem, though. I'm actually going to send in some good drones here. Meadows Common, that's going to be a great drone. Um... Meadows Drone, that's a fast worker, that's great. Forest Common, that's going to be a good one. Forest Common, that's a good one. Forest uh, forest Meadows, that's fine. Meadows Forest, yeah, th th these are all okay. Meadows Forest Hybrid, Meadows Forest. I mean, they're not the best ones. Meadows Common, that's going to be a good one. All right, so we'll, we'll send in all these. I'm just going to throw them in here, and uh, there you go. Okay, these will generate some commons. Woo, yeah. All right, cool. All right, so we're, oh, huh. well, the, oh, oh, the one at the end actually needs it. There you go. See that one way up top? He needs, okay, he's got it. Now you see how that red thing shut off? And we're going to get some send out, but now they're not going to be sent out anymore because it's not calling for it. Because that's how well this system is working. Yes! Automated breeding. So now all we need to do is extend this to do basically the same thing for cultivated, and we got ourselves the purebred cultivated. Cool. And in the end, I will have to do something with these items. What I'm basically going to do is move that um, honey production center back down here. I probably won't capture that on, on camera here because, yeah, you know, it's just moving what we already have done up there down to here. It's pretty much the same thing. So it's going to be, you know, all the pipes are going to be run down there, that sort of thing. And that leaves more room up here for bees and such and storing trees and you know that sort of thing but for now it works just fine and so does my automated breeding so guys thank you so much for watching we got our bees going in full tilt now here uh doing very well we're well on our way to alvieries i need to just build my way up from noble to majesta to imperial and then i'll be starting to collect royal jelly which is needed absolutely for the alvieries so anyway um, I got some trees uh, I need to check, and uh, yeah, there, one, two, three. I might have some walnuts here. We'll never know until we check them. Um, yeah, l let's let's check them as the last thing on our episode. Let's let's see what we get. Okay, so here's the grafter. I think we're going to need another one. And the treealizer, yeah. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I also need... Um, probably to give the treealizer some honey, so let's do that. Yeah, okay, I do. Alright, so the, these are hard to see, but there's one right here. Oh, it's a common walnut. Sweet. There's one right here. Okay, it's a hill cherry something or other. Um, I think that's all for this tree. Let's go check onto this tree. Nothing much there. Nope, those are... Oh, oh, wait, there is one right there in the middle. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna get that later. <laughs> Because what it does is it destroys the possibility of getting it elsewhere. All right, one here. That's 
just a silver lime, normal one, uh, with extra, probably, a different phenotype. Oh, oh, it looks like it's a common walnut. I think we can make a walnut. Okay, I guess we're going to have to do that, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to have... Oh, no, no, it's not. It's, um, it's something else. Is it a maple? I think it's a sugar maple? Not sure. Uh, nope, nope, it's just a silver lime. Boring. Boring. And I got... Oh, oh, I got a few more. Okay, that might be a, a walnut. Oh, give me a walnut. I really need the walnut trees. I need them. I need them to survive. Yes, walnut trees. Yay! We have four now, by the way. Uh, I guess we're going to grow a walnut tree. Yeah, it's going to be the last thing we do. Um, and one there I can't get right now. So let me grab these walnuts. We're going to do that and grow them. And then that's that'll be it. See you in a second. Okay, guys, the last thing we're going to do this episode is grow a walnut tree. Now we should, this is a girth of 2x2, two two, which means we should do this. And then it should grow. Come on, grow. Come on, grow. Come on, grow. Okay, it's making some flowers and crap. All right, do I have to grow? Ah! 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 Yeah, walnut. All right. Cool. That's a walnut tree. Huh. Kind of cool looking. Nice. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode, and we'll be doing some other stuff, I'm sure. All right, take care, guys. Uh, yeah, see you in the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.